Hello, beautiful people. Yes, it's true. I bought myself a buddy pole. In this video, I'm going to look at a buddy pole antenna. You can see that it is here and I'm gonna unbox this momentarily. But I bought this in the United States and they ha have a number of antennas that you can use. You've got the buddy pole, which is a dipole variant. You've also got the buddy stick, which is, as you can see, a single antenna with a long counterpoise. Now, the reason why I ended up buying the buddy pole was that I had the versatility of having a buddy stick, or if I wanted to, I could then also use it as a dipole. And actually, I've had a lot of success. I've been using this for about six months, picked this up in the United States, and I thought that you might like to see what's in the pack, and then in my next video, I'll set it up and see if we can get some contacts on it. Now, why did I buy this? Well, I bought this for a couple of reasons. Um, that I wanted something to go in the backpack that I could use uh, uh, with my Yaesu FT818 or in my car rig, which is a Kenwood TS50. And so this is quite versatile. Um, it, it can run up to 100 watts, I think even a little bit more than that. And so what do you get inside? Well, you get quite a few things inside and I, I must admit, I'm really impressed with the quality of this. Bought this in the United States. Uh, I'm sure they'll ship worldwide as well. And you can instantly see that you've got a whole host of things here to help you get started. Let's have a look in the pouch here first, and then we can then have a look at the loading coils and the extension sticks. What, you get this nice, I think this is um, a sort of five meter piece of coax, which is great with the SM. Um, SMA connectors, no, uh, BNC connectors on the end. Then you also get, uh, and I bought this as an optional upgrade. Um, this enables you to be able to change the orientation of the antennas. So setting up the dipole so you can have multiple configurations of what that might look like, as well as also if you wanted to turn this into a buddy stick, not only can you just uh, plug this in uh, as a dipole, but you can just put a, a buddy stick in on top here. So that, that's the beauty of that mount there. It just gives me a, a sort of multiple configuration options for whatever my usage is. Also in the back here, you get the, the kind of terminator, which takes the, the BNC connection, puts it into um, your positive and negative. You plug those into, as you can see there, the antenna as you see fit, or if you wanted to configure this as a buddy stick, you perhaps just plug one in there like that and then run a counterpoise off this one. You also get a fairly comprehensive destructions, as you can see here, and as every good ham, they'll put those to one side and then realize they need to read those later. What else do you get here? Well, you can see here, you get two rather hefty loading coils, um, and they're very, very similar. You can see that they've also marked off where certain bands are resonant, although I've experimented and depending on the orientation and how you've set this up, uh, that can vary. And you also get these, uh, a number of these little clips here, here, which you just sort of unwind here, pull out, and, and these sort of clip down on the loading coil uh, to help you get really excellent resonance for whatever frequency that you're working. And so you get two of those. Um, so you can obviously use one for the buddy stick configuration or two for the buddy pole. You also get these rather nice long telescopic whips here. And you get two of those. Um, uh, I'm not going to put those out into full extension. Uh, two of those in there. And then also you get one, two, three, four of these extension sticks and they, they actually just screw into the end of the loading pole like that and then they will also screw into the end of the antenna uh, uh, stick just like that as well. So you've got a whole load and then you've also got a few other bits and pieces here that are useful, some uh, spare caps and also uh, some spare um, screw tips that go into the end of 
the buddy pole or into the loading coils, so to speak. So you can see it's quite a useful kit um, um, and there's quite a lot of stuff here that you can use to get yourself sorted out. It only sort of leaves me to say that um, the next video I'm going to actually set this up and see if we can get some contacts. But um, if you're interested in one, obviously you can go over to the Buddy Pole website and you can purchase it direct from him. You can see uh, all the different antennas. You can also get spares and bits and pieces here. That is the Ver Versati, which I was talking about. Um, you have to buy that as an optional extra. The other thing that I bought as well that you might find interesting is, where is it? Oh, it's down here. I bought an additional telescopic pole here that can be strapped onto a fence poles or if I've got a uh, I've got quite a nice tripod that this goes on to and this enables me to uh, to put that antenna up into the sky and change the orientation quite easily anyway as always thanks so much for having a look at this first look at a buddy pole with me I'm looking forward to taking this out into the field and showing you what it's capable of please do check out all my other videos and as always thanks uh, for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.